What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Pumbug Outdoors Fishing. It's your boy C. Smith here. And today, um, I'm sorry that I have not been uploading videos lately. I've just been so busy and I haven't had very many exciting trips. Um, so today I have more of an exciting trip. I'm gonna get out today at a spot I know that I can get fish. I know I've always gotten fish here. It's one of my favorite spots to fish. Um, and I think you guys are gonna enjoy this video. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so one of the things too that has been kind of going on, I'm just my life is extremely busy right now. Um, and a lot of my trips I'm going on lately, I haven't been catching like substantial fish. And by that, I, I don't mean like I'm not catching anything, but I'm just, I don't think these trips are important enough to put on a video. So if you guys actually don't really care and you guys just want to see more videos, even if I'm not catching as many fish, if not, you know, a, any fit, you know, at all, then just let me know because I have plenty of other footage and stuff I can do, but I just want to make sure what I'm putting on my channel is quality and I that you guys know when you're, you know, clicking into that video, you know there's going to be good fish caught. And that's what I've tried to maintain on my YouTube, but if you guys want just more videos too, I'm completely okay with that as well. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Let's go get some catfish fishing here these catfish they are not like normal catfish uh, I know you guys may have seen I have done videos here before um, at different ponds in this neighborhood where I have caught the catfish uh, sight fishing and this pond is the same these ones in here are bigger and they are harder to catch uh, most fish in this pond are six seven pounds and over Basically, the strategy that I do here is uh, you throw out dog food because the, um, the people come out and they throw dog food in um, duck duck food out for the ducks and geese and the catfish also come up and eat on that and so the catfish are trained to come up and eat that stuff right here on this rod and reel i'm using i'm using the shimano nasky 4000 with my custom power knob this is a reel you guys have seen me use a lot lately i just love this setup and it's an eight foot six uh surf rod this is a shimano scimitar this is what i use for a lot of my surf stuff um, but I love it for this because I'm throwing a really light bait and that is just a little piece of bacon. That is all I do. Um, they love bacon. Uh, it's not as smelly as those other cut baits and it stays on the hook really, really well. Uh, yeah, it looks like chest cam is about to go on now. Alrighty. So, um, I already threw the dog food out and now all I got to do is, oh, okay. Never mind. I don't have to wait. There's fish already jumping. All right, you know what? I'm gonna get warmed up with this one right here. Please turn, 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 turn. Turn, turn. No. If he goes under right now, oh yeah. He went down, he went down. Does he have it? He has it. Got him. Got him. He's got it. Oh. 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 I have never had a catfish jump like that. That is sick. Oh. 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 Ooh. Woohoo. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, and this isn't even a good one. This is like a, oh. The, the, it's weird. This isn't a fast fish right here. He, oh. Sometimes these fish are a little sluggish, but this one, this one's having no problem moving right now. There we go. Ooh. The hook was a little gauged, in, you know, down a gut, but uh, got that baby out. That right there is like a five or six pounder. Um, definitely a good one still, but uh, we want bigger than that. So we're gonna put him back and uh, get back out there. Look at that. Pretty one right there. All right, buddy. Peace, dog. 
There he goes. All right, let's get back out there. This one right here could be a tough one because it's right next to these weeds and he could bring me in them, but I mean, we're gonna try, so. Oh, oh, that was too close, dang it. There we go. That was a, oh, got him. Oh, dang, that was next cast after the other one. Ugh. Oh, look at that, I called it. He'd run me right in those weeds. I gotta get him out. There we go, bringing him to the open water. Ooh, another little one. Oh, oh, you guys see that? That's a, that's a big one. All right, Holmes. Oh. All right. Here we go, buddy. Peace out. Oh, this kind of fishing, guys, is so, sometimes it can be so, like, frustrating that you just, you know, you have to look past it. If you miss a really, really good fish, you can't think about it because there could be another fish right in front of you. Where's that big one at? Oh, he's going straight for it, straight towards it. Oh. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Go. Oh, yes. Oh. He's running me straight in. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is a good one. I thought the little one beeline to it, and then he must have came out and grabbed it because I just saw him jump. And this was not the fish that, oh. Oh, this is not the fish I saw. Oh. 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 Come on, baby. Oh, geez. Oh. You guys, I don't, to the people that don't want to fish for catfish, like, uh, like, come on. Those drag, those, you know, sets of pulling drag, I, I don't know what fishermen, oh, I don't know what fishermen wouldn't want to hear that. Oh, he's hit his tail right there. Oh, maybe this is a good one. This is a, this is definitely one of the better ones in the pond. Oh, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh baby, that's a good one. Can I get through here? I think I can get through here. I'm just gonna loosen the drag up a little bit. Oh. These fish are so strong. Holy. Woo. There we go, folks. He's actually not as big as he fought, but uh, still a, still quite a quality fish for sure. We're gonna weigh this puppy. Alrighty. 10.6. I will take that. This is the fish that I was looking for, for sure. Alrighty guys, I'm letting him revive for a second here. Oh, what a pretty fish right there, baby. Oh, what an amazing, amazing little fish right there. One last look. Oh, what a pretty fish. All right, buddy. Peace.
What a fish, man. That'll probably be the biggest one I catch today. Um, if it's not the biggest one I catch today, well, actually, I'm not going to say. You guys got to keep watching the video. Um, but there's actually more fish feeding. So, uh, um, yeah, I'm just not going to talk. I'm going to go fish more. Yep. Ooh. Okay, guys. So here's a good little lesson for you, all right? When you're doing this kind of fishing and you see this in your line, all right, that's bad. And if you notice here, look at that. Look at how frayed that line is. So right now, what I could do is I could stress and rush and go make another cast and probably snap off my fish or take my time to cut the line, redo it, make sure I have a good knot, and now land the fish. So uh, that's one thing you got to think about when you're doing fast fishing like this is you have to watch your line and you can't rush certain things. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to retie and I'll get back out. Got him. Got him. Oh, that was cool. Watched him eat that one. Man, he was sitting here. Sorry, guys, I was really quiet, but he was sitting here feeding for the longest time, and I could not get him to hit. And he actually looked at it. Ooh, he looked at it and turned away. Um, and I finally got him. He turned right back around, and I had it right on his head. Perfect. I mean, perfect cast. And he just just crushed it so all right now we gotta land them i have actually never caught a fish on this side over there oh that's a that's a tanker over there there we go come on get in here perfect hook set right in that corner lip came out very easy and uh there we go what a beautiful beautiful fish to end my day he's a good uh seven eight pounds i'd say he was definitely one of the better ones all right buddy there he goes Alrighty, I think that's gonna do it for the video. Um, if you guys liked it, please make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that stuff you're supposed to do for a YouTube video. And um, yeah, I honestly, I just had a blast. Um, it was really good for me to finally get out again. I hadn't been out fishing in a while, um, or just like haven't been out catching, sorry, in a while. Um, so it was really good to get out and get on some fish. If you guys follow me on social media, I'll put the links in the description below. I upload a little bit, or I, yeah, I post a little bit more frequently on there and I kind of keep you guys updated. Um, so if you're not already, go follow those. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you guys next time on Humbug Outdoors Fishing. Yee! Oh.